<laughs> Robin. We got Matt Paxton outside the studio. It turns out he's a fan of the show. Ooh. He wrote it on his website. The Secret Lives of Hoarders. There he is, Matt. Hoarders. Matt, They're sit over here with people. the big boys. I know you. I've seen this guy. We know you from the show. Of course. I, uh, I'm a big fan of, uh, of the show. My God. Those hoarders are out of their minds. What's up, guys? How yeah. are you, Matt? How you doing, How man? Doing well. Unbelievable. Uh, yeah. The Secret Lives of Hoarders. Now, uh, the show com comes out, and now it opens up this whole thing to people hoarding. Now, we all knew, I think we all knew there were some crazy cat ladies that would have newspapers stacked up in their house, but he, I don't think it's ever been exposed that there are people that you would consider maybe even normal that just are out of their minds uh, when it comes to keeping yeah. shit at their house. Judges, lawyers, bankers. I mean, we go into some fancy, fancy places. Really? And you walk in, there's you know six foot of shit in the corner. A disaster. Yeah, disaster. But, Honestly, uh, those are the worst because they've been living the lie so long, oof. and they've been trying to pass it off. Yeah. yeah, that it's even worse. I would. I love when I walk into a house where it's like, oh, it's a crazy lady down the street. Because uh -huh. at least I know what I'm walking into. Yeah, and, and that's yeah. usually the, what everybody thinks it's gonna be is the cr the crazy cat lady. Yeah, we but, always say they're kind of like the mascot of our disease now. Yeah, <laughs> but it's it's everybody, man. I mean, everybody. You also learn that there's so many people that are hoarding. I thought it was like kind of a rare thing. Yeah, I mean, I, we were doing it for two years before I even knew what the word was. Right. We just thought there were, you I know, thought there was people a few that were white there, trash. But, yeah, yeah they're just called white trash. <laughs> Seems to be at least one in every neighborhood in, in America. It's, I mean, the number we hear is like 3.5 million. Wow. But that's, that's, the, a lot of that's the ones that you see like on hoarders that I clean, the, the level five. Yeah. But the real ones, we the, the bad ones are like, you know, your mom, that's a level one. You now, know, that she's got a couple wait, things. Wait, what's the level five yeah. or what's the level one? Level five is what you see on... With the cat shit cat and shit, the you've carcasses. Dead, yeah. The animals. Can't go underneath. upstairs anymore because you put your bag of shit on the stairs. <laughs> exactly. that's, that's finger of God. Cleaned, I cleaned that finger one. Finger of God. Bad. Did you? Oh, yeah, I did that one. That was our favorite Five. borders, right, Ant? <laughs> the one where oh, you couldn't yeah. go upstairs because the shit was oh, God. going all the way I, up the I stairs. I was sick for two weeks after that. I literally... What does it smell mm. like, sir? Um, that was a new one. That was more like a citrusy, tangy oh. poo. It was really... Yeah, what was the it? note? What was um, the note in the mouth? <laughs> I, it, it was the only one that came through the mask. I mean, I'm wearing a P95 mask, and yeah. you could still taste shit in your And mouth. how long, like, yeah. after oh. you go home, isn't yeah. it in your sinuses? Like, you could still it's in smell your, it? For... It's in your hair. You want to shave your hair. Oh. It gets in you. Really? Yeah. yeah, I mean, you have to blow your nose for days. Now, I've yeah. seen a few of these episodes where people are just belligerent, and they have to be handled with these kid gloves. And Which I think, we hate. I think we've all yeah. talked about, and I think probably anybody you've talked to has said, turn around and and tell these people to just knock it off. You want to punch it, them. You want to do something. And yeah, the challenge with that is, is that we assume everyone's on the same mental plane that you and I are on. Mm -hmm. Okay, and with these hoarders, they're on a different world. I mean, literally, their brains. If they scan scan their brains, it's a, it works differently. And so I see a pile of crap. And I see a hundred dead cats. They see a beautiful face in a table. Really? And so they really, I mean, yelling at them obviously doesn't work. I mean, it's like having a buddy that's just hammered, and you're like, dude, get your life together. And you're I've been saying that to him. Anthony yeah. for five I know. years. Well, <laughs> at least people come and clean my house up. <laughs> my God. A uh, hoarder's always um, something that you have to throw. Like you said, a beautiful vase. Are there hoarders that hoard beautiful vases? Like they just <laughs> sure. They have Good a question. bunch of nice shit. Where it's real hoarders? shit. Yes. Yeah, season four. You know, season three we went pretty extreme we've, it got really nasty mm -hmm. season four you're going to see a lot of really interesting collections that so are what do you very go, valuable you go over to somebody's house and they got like the precious moment shit all over the place yeah my least favorite thing you see like uh, Wait. you know statues uh, or christmas ornaments god i've seen like 10,000 ornaments i had one lady had 40,000 cookies. they have cutters. like wait 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 the christmas cookies. room in their house cookie cookie yeah but go back to that very valuable so what why is that a problem if their shit is worth a lot of money it's not about the money it's it's the fact that they've let their life go they've lost friendships they've lost Lost families, they've lost jobs. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. The house is not functional mm -hmm. as a I house have, anymore. I have new shoe boxes all everywhere, over the place, and yeah. then I have to like I just gave some away. I had to find people that wore my size just to give away stuff. Yeah, and then but are you taking a, Are you taking a dump on top of those shoes? Holy <laughs> shit! I hope so. Wait a minute though. That's what I'm saying. So you, so a whole a whole because I'm not from, I'm only familiar with because I you know you watch it or whatever. But yeah. It it's, has to be something else. It can't just be you collect a bunch of shit. Exactly. And that's a great point. There's a reason they do it. There's a trigger. Something bad, something tragic's happened in their life. Yeah. And to answer your question, this is how I deal with it. I walk in there and I'm like, come on, lady, I gotta shovel up all this poop. 
You know, it's like this is getting ridiculous. But I have to remember something really bad happened in her life to make her choose to do uh-huh. that. No one wakes up and says, "Hey, I'm going to be a hoarder. I'm going to kill 200 cats in my house." You usually see they're mm-hmm. surrounded by enabling people too that mm-hmm. that re- that you're even more angry with. Yeah. Like I've seen people where it's like, why doesn't this person take control and and try to get this person to stop? Usually the the by calling us honestly is the way they've done it. It's it's pretty hard, man. You know, put pulling this off yeah, on you. I mean, a hoarder, a hoarder man, they are like amazing at denial. I mean, like the best oh, yeah. professional deniers. And so, I mean, you literally, it takes professionals, both therapists and organizers, to come in there and get, you, get you'll, through the wall. You'll see them start crying about uh, they haven't seen their family in years, their children hmm. don't come over. And, and and they'll say things like, my family's the most important thing in my life, yet they won't throw away something from 10 years ago that's a piece of crap uh, because it's important to them. <laughs> but then their family is, is the most important thing, well, but they're a, leaving. Can we yeah. acknowledge that's, that, that's that the I asked him, I asked part him of something, he said, I go, he goes, but did did you take a shit on top of it? Like, yeah, I went, yeah, yeah. I just I didn't I didn't realize you had just said it just registered. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like that's a hoarder. There's a so hoarder. So people now we know what hoarder. It's just like you. It's, it's a lot of shit that you acquire, but you do other strange things yeah. with it. Something else has happened. There's something, something else, else going okay. on. It here. just you, ain't yeah. collecting shit. It's well, not yeah. just okay. collecting. Yeah. What was the okay. number one hoarder for you since the show started? Aaron? Um, <coughs> excuse me. I hate to even bring it up, but Hannah was pretty extreme. But we did the, the chicken lady. Thing. Oh yeah, you did. Yeah, we the did. The oh thing. God, I she punched me in the face. Her. She punched yeah. in the oh, face. Yeah. She was really aggressive. Um, you, 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 started getting, you started getting nasty with she had her. 200 chickens in her. Oh, I got really. Yeah, yeah, I will. I'm different. I don't hold. I know. Yeah. Gloves. I go right at them. I mean, I I treat you this way. I'm gonna if I'm gonna help you, I'm gonna treat you like my family. And my family, if we love you, we're gonna make fun of you and we're gonna get in your face. I, and that's I, what I do with orders. I, I've watched the show uh, like it's a sporting event because sometimes you've gotten on the people and I'm like, finally. I'm like yelling at the TV, going, "Yes, yell at this idiot!" Because that dumb psychologist ain't gonna do it. Well, <laughs> I do it with stupid respect. kid gloves. Yeah. I, they have laws. I like and sometimes you go, you going, "I don't." Well, you don't want them. Great, yeah. fine, then don't. Right, yeah. and then who? you walk out of the place, yeah, and it's I have like, no good. problem walking out. Who good. contacts you? Who? Usually, it's family members. It's rarely the actual hoarder. It's usually so, the but they. Uh, so, if we're seeing on TV, you, you, it's safe to assume that they, they sign the contract to go oh, yeah. clean my house. It, but the re- so you had a lot of reluctant, like okay, all sure, right. yeah, a lot of times, and we'll even turn people down in our private. We, have, I mean, I do this full time privately mm-hmm. as well. So for every one you see on TV, I'm doing ten more Oof. at home. Oh, so you're like so a people life hire coach. your company, oh, yeah. okay, like, eh, like family members. I'm like the worst life coach. I, I mean, I, <laughs> I'm there to push you past this brick wall that you've got. I'm not going to be the guy that hugs you and gets you, you know. Six years away keeps you clean. I'm the one that keeps your kids in the house and keeps you from losing your house from the bank the next day. Have you ever had somebody? Have you ever had a situation where you go fuck them? This episode's canceled. We're not even dealing with this fucking. That's <laughs> not my. I would love to, it's but not it's not. Call. Call. Yeah. It's, call. it's not his call. Every time. Time. Oh, okay, you're not. The, you're not the boss of the show. No, I mean sometimes you get in there. And He's the you, cleanup guy. I'm the, I'm the trash man. Yeah. So yeah. the I'm producers the have never had somebody home. that they said, ah, this is just let them live in there. His company's clutter cleaner, by the way. Yeah. We haven't mentioned yet. Yeah. Let them live. Clutter cleaner. Let them live in turkey shit. Let's get out of here. Who cares? Well, have you gotten? Because. I, I always wonder when they're giving that rah rah speech, the shrinks and stuff, to the cleanup crew. Now make sure Margaret is allowed to look at everything before you take it out. Yeah. It looks like the crew's standing there, and sometimes they put their head down. And it, are, are they laughing? Are they are they looking like oh Christ, well, we, this nut? You know, we do use the guys from One Eight Hundred Got Junk, and they yeah. they're actually trained fairly well. They know what they're doing. They've they've been in more hoarding houses than. Other than sure. me, they're the only ones that know you know how to really clean a good house. They know how it mentally goes. We set it up. I mean, strategically, there's a way to do this. So you'll see <laughs> me pick a room on purpose that's really easy, and so I get them warmed up, and you know, and then I go, I'll find pictures, or you know, we'll find. We bring them things that keep them happy, and then we just punch them in the stomach and say, "Okay, here's, start throwing shit here's away. Dad has been stuff. It's done. Let's talk about this. <laughs> we got to get rid of it." So do you once you start cleaning, do you do you at least go? Oh wow! But this might be valuable. Or you just shovel. 
Oh, no, we go through anything because pictures are very valuable for, for family, especially if you've had a deceased family member. There's always a lot of jewelry. We find money all the time. Uh, I found <laughs> put a little, you put I a little of that in your back, back, back pocket? <laughs> oh, I mean, hey, it's yeah. clean. You know, we no, sell it for them and give them the money. Most of these people are in no. really no, bad No, fuck that, man. I mean, <laughs> right. well, we know. one lady couldn't. Shit, this, is under, this $100 bill is under fucking buffalo piss. <laughs> we, hey, <laughs> you you ain't going to spend it. Money spins, man. I will, if there's money, we'll bring it to them. We found, we found a Michael Jackson thriller, original Thriller album, and it was so fun at the bottom of a pile that it was in perfect condition. Oh, wow. It was like completely It was so, yeah. so compressed it was safe. Flat. That's you know. still worth now for another few years. Or whatever. <laughs> hey, it was 1200 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> 1200 bucks for a thriller? For the original, yeah. Wow. Oh, 1200 bucks. What was the money, most valuable dude. thing That's you ever That's still a lot found. of money to me. Uh, we found $40,000 in U.S. savings bonds, Oof. and the lady thought they were expired. And we were like, they're matured. <laughs> There's an extreme difference. Wow. Tell and they're her, expired. And they're $40,000. with you? Oh, I'd have left with them. Yeah, I would have left. I've made, more, I've made more than $40,000 off that story than uh, actually oh, taking okay. the money. Ah, anyway, there you go. We, we know that these people are down and out. They're good people somewhere. My job is to find out that goodness. So her hoarding, though... If she wasn't a hoarder, she, she would have never w- waited. So the fact that that, that actually is was a bank, it, it did mature. <laughs> it, it held Her disgusting habit is it, was putting it in the bank, actually. I'll go with you a little bit on that. <laughs> there, is, there is good in, in everything bad. You just got to dig deep enough to find that good. And <laughs> what was did, your saddest moment where you almost got, you? it got to you, were like, shit, I, I feel bad, or you feel sympathetic to the level of like you had to maybe almost cried or maybe yeah i mean I, it takes a lot to make me cry now i mean i, <laughs> I found farmed. some i found some some real sad child pornography like polaroids like the dude had taken them oh shit and i just had a jesus had and you pocketed those go, yeah of course i took that well that's, yeah. way to go. that's more of an angry story like you <laughs> trying to keep it funny here. Fucker. we no, had to keep it really hot i mean <laughs> <laughs> we were still very broke at the time i mean this, i i didn't start this job because i thought it'd be really cool i was i was down and out man i that was the only job cleaning up shit was the only thing i could do <laughs> yeah you know? and so I needed the money. I needed to finish the job. I needed to pay rent. You, you were know? hoarding bills. And <laughs> the problem was we found these Polaroids of some seriously nasty porn, and we were like, man, we got to call the cops. Got to call the cops. <laughs> it was off. Oh, you call the cops? Oh, yeah, I have man. to, man. That guy's in jail, man. That guy's in jail, man. Oh, wait, wait, so he yeah. was a hoarder. I wonder if he keeps his Child shit in a cell. Pornography. <laughs> He's probably getting raped. Now, Motherfucker, throw ex- these blankets away, you I dirty I bastard. I Explain I this to me. Somebody, a, t- a, a TV guy comes to you and says, can we please go through all your shit? At what point did he sign off on that? He had to know. Yeah, it, for hoarders, if I'm there, it's because they're going to lose their children, they're going to lose their spouse, or they're mm-hmm. going to lose their home. I mean, like, uh, tomorrow. But somewhere yeah. in the back of his head, he knew he had some kitty fiddler pictures under, in that pile. Under cat piss and yeah. cat guy, shit. Well, that guy was in such denial that he had, he had lied to himself so many times he didn't think it was that he didn't think it was that big a deal. Hey, I got it. Wow. <laughs> We got Warren Haynes in uh, the green room, so we don't have a lot of time left with you, but uh, rats. Rat was, I was disappointed in the rat episode mm-hmm. because it was me and Ann talked about it. It was, it was rats from a pet store that the guy was hoarding. Well, he, he had t- they were t- it started with two rats and then know, they just but, kept multiplying. But yeah. I wasn't as impressed. The sheer as, like, number as, of rats was a little creepy. Like, amazing. Cr- but have creepy, you ever seen yeah. like a New York City subway rat? San Francisco rats are ridiculous. I'm okay. heard the New York ones are as well. I mean, they're so, bigger than they're cats. Gay. I was excited for that they're episode, and cats. then when I saw they were pet rats, I, I was I was not into that episode as much. Yeah. But my question is, have you gone into houses where you have seen fucking rats? Yeah, I mean, you, the, the, it's not the rats. An empty house with rats is fine. It's when you see like an eight foot rat's nest that's just eating up in the newspaper in the middle of it, and you're oh, like, "Holy crap, shit. what's in there?" It's not what you see; it's what you don't see. Okay, and you yeah. smell it. You know the smell of rat urine. You know there's some big ass rats in there. That's scary. When they have caged animals and they think they're taking care of them too, that's they the do sick. believe they, that they actually are. think that they're loving and taking they care do. of these animals. And meanwhile, like there's a dead cat. There's a cat with like holes in it. And just pussy eye cat like that you see on the late night commercials, and uh, they're like, and, and when animal control comes, they're crying and saying, "Why are you doing that?" They don't understand. Like this thing, half of these things are gonna have to be yeah. uh, put to sleep. I promise you, with all their heart, they truly believe they're taking care of that. That is so else. sick. Yeah. I don't care about their hearts. It's exhausting. <laughs> they are, I swear. I, know, I swear it's, it's exhausting. I don't. I don't want to have to try to convince. I them. yell at the TV. I yeah. honestly yell like. Just burn the place yeah. down! We're all going to laugh. Our, our whole crew listens to you guys. Most of our camera guys are from New York, oh, so we listen to you guys all the time. Yeah. And I'm yelling back at you guys, and y'all are saying stuff. I put your hoarders. Uh, I've never seen the show. I'm sorry, God, but it's a great show. It's I, it, you just, it's so much shit. I watch, I'm watching uh, Pawn 
porn stars. Hardcore oh, yeah, porn. Yeah, yeah. I'm watching uh, black people scream at this guy who only gives them seven dollars for their fucking wedding ring. So it's like it's just it's just what you watch, you know. Uh, but I picture hoarding people who hoard to be uh, unattractive. He, wow, well, yeah, the yeah, ones we show right. are, I would say that they're they're sad people. They're down. I mean, when it really sums no it up, no gorgeous hoarder broad. That we've, ever. Had, we've had a couple, few daughters. Yeah, yeah. I've seen like a few daughters where it's like, oh, that girl would be such an easy lay. They're, like they're, you just got to take her to a clean room. You come across any <laughs> any meth? We find drugs and guns. Dude, drugs drugs what is it about yeah. meth people? They drugs want to whore, they steal bicycles if and you, take them apart. If you see no teeth, <laughs> you know, if you see no teeth, obviously. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And we we do deal with that a lot on the show. You get there and you're like, you're dealing with the hoarding, but then you're like, man, what about this you know, meth problem going on in the back room? That may have something to do that, with that it. Drug, yeah. That drug turns people into hoarders. <laughs> and horny as hell, you can't come. We got, we <laughs> definitely have Warren Haynes. But, yeah, real quick, on the yes, book, yes. the uh, book is for everybody, not just about hoarders. It breaks it down to basically if your wife's keeping too much stuff around the house and you need some hints on how Throw to it at get her. rid of the stuff. Read Before the it starts. It's, it's called True Stories of yeah. Tackling Extreme Clutter, The Secret Lives of Hoarders by Matt Paxton. You can stick around and listen to Warren Haynes play if you want. And we'll sure. probably get another plug or two in for uh, the book and, the, and, and uh, the show Hoarders. Brought you guys some Clutter yeah. Cleaner t-shirts, too. Right, because I mean... Oh, nice. <laughs> for your just, hoarder viewing I, I, I wanted to ask you another thing, though. Yeah. Uh, people seem to sometimes get upset when they see 1-800-JUNK. Like, like the, the second the trucks pull up, you're pretty much telling the people what you have is junk. Like, is it, does, isn't it insulting? Like, I don't, I don't care. Insult I the hell out of them. But. At first, people did, and now they know that they're actually going to get some, some hand care. I mean, people actually do sort through the stuff. Because it seems like, like, what oh, they're to coming to get my when, things. Yeah. They look at it like it's treasure. And meanwhile, you're like, yeah, bring the junk trucks what up. What you need to worry about when the two guys in a landscaping trailer show up, and they're going to throw everything away. They're not yeah, going to look at yeah, your stuff. Okay, <laughs> at least you're going to have yeah. positive care, and people are going to look for your things when we show up. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. Guys, take, thanks, thank you for all your support oh, on the please, show, man. man. We love it. I, I love, love it. the show. It's great. It's June twentieth, yeah, season four starts, and wow. we did recaps of everyone that would let us come back into their house. That's we went. great. I oh, love nice. seeing where these people end up because some of them have kind of kept some are things, awesome, and some others are just disturbingly bad. Fell right back oh, into great. it. This is not a before and after show. It's, it, it's the reality of what happens in life. And yeah. I, I hope they're all bad. <laughs> <laughs> we had some good ones. We I, actually I, had some good I ones. hope they're all bad. They went right back to collecting cat shit. Fuck those people. So sick of the me me me's oh, out there. What a heart! Done with it. <laughs> you you're the same way. Come on. I know. Please. Jimmy certainly is. I, like I said, I yell at the TV at these right. people. Well, gasoline, a little diesel fuel yeah. on a match. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Send him to the movies. Let him come back to a smoldering house. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Matt Paxton, a pleasure. Hey, guys, oh, thanks so much. Fan of the show, which I think is really cool Fantastic. of our show, and we're a fan of your show certainly. And it's clutter cleaner on uh, Twitter. Yep. Yep. All right, we're going to have Warren Haynes play for us next. We're pretty excited. Lazo, big fan, right? Big fan. Seen him yeah. like 15 times. That wow. Cool. That means you're going to have to leave. <laughs> 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 and if you want to stick around, man, you're more than Hang welcome. Yeah. All right. Cool. Thanks.